some echo. That's getting old, Ben. Ever since the very first season of Ben 10 Classic, the Omnitrix transforming Ben into the wrong alien has been a staple of the show. Hey, I said rip jaws, not accelerate, stupid watch. Even when the technical error was fixed when the Omnitrix recalibrated in Alien Force, it was brought back in its third season due to Ben and Kevin's meddling, and remained a factor in Ben's heroic till the end of the series, and even persisted to the reboot. This forces Ben to be versatile with his abilities, and be ready for immediate improvising at the literal press of a button, because when Ben mistransforms, he absolutely has to commit to being that alien, and has no other choice in the matter. Right? Right? Fury Rig? Dream Matter? Seriously? Yeah, this completely ruins every single time Ben mistransforms. I don't know why they did this. There's countless scenarios where it would be undeniably more efficient to give transforming another go, even if it's still random, as there's plenty of times where mistransforming made things much harder than it should have, and sometimes he'd fail the mission altogether due to the alien he currently was. Now, I get it. It's more fun if the results of Ben's transformations have the possibility of being random, and can lead to much more creative storytelling. But when you officially confirm that when Ben mistransforms, he categorically can give it another shot. It makes previous scenes like or I lost them or seem ridiculous. Like why actively suffer when you don't have to? It's not even funny anymore. There's even scenarios where although he didn't mistransform, if he simply switched to another alien, then everything would be fine. So many stories actively depend on the fact that Ben mistransformed, and this ruins all of it. Granted, there's been scenes like this before where Ben did give it another shot. Transform again. Amphibia. But certainly not to this degree where he kept going over and over. You realize that many times, billions of lives depend on your success, Ben, right? I wouldn't say I'm reading too far into this or taking it too seriously either, because they constantly treat these mistransformations as if Ben is actively stuck as this creature, and for the duration of the plot, Ben has no other choice but to remain in that form, when clearly, he does indeed have a choice. This also counts pre-Omniverse 2, given that Ben can also change from alien to alien even when the Omnitrix is broken. Is it really worth jeopardizing one of the core foundations on how this series works, and a major crutch the writers heavily rely on? to raise the stakes, all just for a throwaway joke? How does this help anybody? I've been giving Omniverse a lot of praise lately, but shit like this makes the series frustrating to get through. When it comes to making a joke, they don't seem to care about what it means beyond a cheap laugh, and expect you not to care either. This scene was creative, but also a huge mistake because of everything it means beforehand and how it will mean going forward. Oh yeah, I should probably talk about the episode too. It's not that great. <laughs> Okay, okay. There's a reason I spent a good chunk of this review on the mistransformation aspect, as the episode itself doesn't have a lot going for it, if at all. Hoaxstar tries to trick Ben into using his celebrity status to promote his miracle elixir, which unlawfully milks a Screech's natural juices to create the concoction. The Screech gets free, it wreaks havoc on Bellwood, and Ben's gotta stop it. The end. See? I told you! They milk you! Honestly, the idea of Hoaxstar has a great premise. Oh, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the universe to have a one-man superhero team as a spokesman. It's not that this episode's annoying, it's just kind of boring. It never feels like anything's actually happening. It's like 90% downtime. I feel like this could have been saved if the characters were at least enjoyable, but they couldn't save this either. We've also seen other Floranas typically have vicious attitudes, so the character of Pax is pretty perplexing, especially since OV is allegedly supposed to be more like classic. He's also one of the least favorable characters of the franchise as well, and I don't blame his haters. He's another character that relies heavily on his stereotypes and gets more screen time than he deserves. Even Rook hates this guy. Hoaxstar I feel similar about, but at least he has more leeway driving the plot forward with his inventions. Between the both of them, and the absence of Rook from most of this story, it's just 20 or so minutes of Ben getting annoyed by these two. I think it's smart that Ben immediately wanted to do research on Hoaxstar after meeting him though. That's good writing on their part. OV sets the bar insanely high with its incredible art direction and animation, so when we get characters that look like this, they stick out like a sore thumb and break the immersion of the episode. I'm not a big fan of OV Sunder either. Hoaxstar and Pat 
packs have okay designs, but nothing revolutionary. And while this series is still killing it with the animation, we've already seen better in the same season. I also noticed that Ovi likes to animate Ben falling out of his transformations, but it looks pretty neat. It may seem a bit early for this, but I can't defend this episode getting anything higher than a zero in importance. While it does introduce us to Pax and Hoaxstar, their later appearances can easily catch you up to speed, and they never become important beyond this. And yes, I'm including Store 23. You could watch that episode without this and completely understand what's happening. Tangentially from the main arc aside, it spends a lot of time dedicated to lengthy jokes that aren't that great to begin with. It has a fairly predictable plot, and even Ben seems to be zoning his way out through the story. This episode feels like it goes on forever, and when it's over, I'm in no hurry to watch it again. So yeah, that sums up everything I have to say here. So until next time, keep it physical. <laughs> oh yeah, um, hold on. Ahem. <clears throat>